Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video, I'm going to cover proc transpose in brief. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about me and my experience and my certifications. Let's move on to the next slide. All right guys, so if you want to learn SAS, you can contact me. And now fees is little increased. It's 15,000 for three months batch course. And if you enroll before April, then fees would be same as 12,000. Let's move on to the next. If you are preparing for SAS interview and you want a session on SAS interview preparation, please contact me on my WhatsApp number or you can email me. Let's move on to the next slide. All right, guys. So question is reshape input data set doctor visit as showed below output data set. So here we have input data set and this input data set contains variables patient ID diagnosis code 1 diagnosis code 2 and diagnosis code 3. So this data set contains when patient visited a doctor then doctor provides diagnosis code. So for 001 patient the diagnosis code 1 means patient visited to doctor one time two means two second time and three means third time for 001 patient ID patient visited for three times and for 002 if you see this patient visited only two times and the third time it is showing missing and 003 it visited three times and 004 the patient visited only once and diagnosis code two and three is missing so using this data set we want to reshape it because this data set is showing in horizontal. You see DX code D 1, 2, 3. We want to reshape it and make it vertical. The DX code 1, DX code 2, DX code 3. How? See the output data set. So for 001, you will see it is showing three times and the values for diagnosis code 1, 2, 3 is like this. And I have just instead of giving three names to these three visits, I am giving single name diagnosis code. So we are going to restructure this data set this way using PROC transpose. So you can see here we have missing values. So we do not want these missing values. When the patient did not visit to doctor, it is showing missing values. So here if you see for 002, it is showing missing, but in our output data set, we do not have missing. So it's only two visit. And if you see 004, only one visit is showing. 240 is the code. Let's see the solution. This is the input data set. The same we understood in previous slide. Let's see the coding. So this is the coding we are doing. So we are using PROC transpose input data set doctor visit and output data set we are generating trans underscore ST and the by variable we are using patient ID. So by variable means by means the first thing your data set should be sorted with by variable. So this data set is already in sorting order 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we do not need to sort it again. And when we use by patient ID, that means this variable will not transpose. This would be the same as it is. Only the values would add in it. Values means observations will add in this variable. Rest variables, those we want to transpose, we mention in variable VAR. DX code 1 to DX code 3. I'm using a range operator. That means I do not need to mention all three variables separately. I'm just giving DX code 1 dash DX code 3. So 1, 2, 3. Let's see the output when it run. What will happen? If you see here, when we run this code, we are seeing three patient ID exactly what we want in our output data set and the values column 1. These values are fine. 450, 430, 410. Our DX code to DX3, these are the variable names. They are also part of this transpose. These are also transpose. We do not want these. These comes under underscore name underscore. So this is the name of this variable is underscore name underscore. So we can drop this. We do not want this in our output data set. However, the column one, we do not want this name. So in our output data set, when we discuss, this was the name diagnosis code. See, so we will rename that column one to diagnosis code. Let's see how we will do that. So the coding, the prox transpose is almost same. Doctor visit, trans ST. So I dropped the name and the rename column one to diagnosis code. I also done one additional thing that is 
I do not want all the observations where diagnosis code was missing. So we initially we discussed that wherever we have missing values, that means patient did not visit the doctor. So that's why we will drop those observations. So here in the output data set, I gave this condition and this will not write into the output data set. Then everything is same. See here we are dropping this one and renaming this one. I just put a small screenshot of the previous slides output data set. Let's see the output data set what will happen when we run this. So when we run this code, our data set would be transposed like this. So these three IDs are for patient ID and diagnosis code is 450, 430, 410. So now this data set is transposed 002. We are only seeing two observations. Third one was missing, so we are not doing. No transposing this. The third one, all three and fourth, only one visit to the doctor. So it is showing the rest two missing observations were not written to this output data set. Now, since we are able to restructure or reshape the data set, if we want to like get the original data set using this data set. So we have this data set output. And if we want to generate the same output that we use as an input in our original data set doctor visit, how we will do this? We can achieve this using proc transpose only thing we need to just change the variables. Let's see the solution. So transpose again to reshape the data set and make it same as original. So this is the coding. This time we will use trans ST that the output data set we generate in previous slide and we will create the original data set. I gave the name also same as the original doctor visit patient ID. We are not going to transpose this one. So we are using by patient ID. So it will be same. Next, we will be using variables, which one we want to transpose. So this time our data set is in vertical position. If we go back, see the output. So this is vertical, one, two, three. Now we will make these three values as horizontal and distribute these values in three separate variables, same as original data set. That's why I use variable diagnosis code. And you will see this will generate this code 0014 and it is able to generate these values in separate variables or columns, but we see additional variable underscore name underscore as diagnosis code. So we'll drop this one and we'll rename these three column to diagnosis code one, two, three. However, we can rename them or we can prefix them. So we have one option to rename all three or maybe more than three columns in a one go. How we'll do this? So I'm writing this proc transpose again and this time I'm using trans testing the same data set but the prefix option to rename this column one column two column three. So it will rename it to DX code and then one two three would come automatically and then the output data set doctor visit and I'm dropping underscore name underscore. So this variable I am dropping by patient ID diagnosis code. This is similar to this the upper code and when we run this one, this will generate this output. And now you can see this one is exactly same as the input data set the original doctor visit data set. So I hope guys now you're able to understand how we will transpose a horizontal data set into a vertical or transpose a vertical data set into a horizontal. I hope you understood it. However, transpose is a big processor, but I've just covered in brief and the important part of proc transpose. Let's move on to the next slide. All right, guys, that's it in this session. So if you like my video, please hit the like button or subscribe it. Also share it to your friends if anyone is interested in learning SAS. Okay, so we'll meet into the next session till the time. Bye and take care.